In the last lecture, we created this custom use HTTP hook. Now let's go ahead and let's see how we can use this custom use HTTP hook in our app component. So first, I want to use this use HTTP hook to send a GET request to the server in order to fetch all the tasks from the server database. So in the app component, inside this app component function, let's go ahead and let's call this use HTTP hook. And to this use HTTP hook, we need to pass some arguments. So the first argument which we need to pass is the URL from where we want to fetch the data. In our case, we want to fetch the data from this URL. So I'll copy this URL and I'll pass it to this use HTTP hook. Then we also need to specify the method type. So here the method is going to be get. Then we need to specify the body. Since we are sending a get request, with the get request, we don't send any body. So here I will set it as null. And finally, we also need to specify the method which should be called when we get the response back from the server. So basically, for this action parameter, we need to specify a function. For that, I'm going to create a function. So before using this use HTTP, I'll create a function. I'll call it get all tasks. And I will assign this get all tasks. I will pass this get all tasks to this action parameter. Okay. Now, when we are calling this action parameter, we are also passing the data, the response.json. So here for this function, let's also accept a parameter. Let's call it maybe data. Now this use HTTP is going to return an array. So I'm going to use the array destructuring syntax here. And it is going to return us the error message. So I will simply call it error. And it is also going to return us this send HTTP request function. So let's specify that function also. Now here you can also change this function name. So let's simply call it send request. Now when we will call this send request, this send request is a function. When we will call this send request, since we are passing this URL, the method as get to this use HTTP, this send request function is going to send a get request to this URL. And when it receives the response, it is going to pass that response to this get all task function inside this data parameter. So let me go ahead and let me log that data in the console. And we will get this data only after we call this send request function. Now, when do we want to call this send request function? We want to call this send request function when the page initially loads. That means when this web page loads for the first time. Okay, at that time, we want to call this send request function. So I'm going to call this send request function inside this use effect hook. In that case, this send request function will be called when the web page loads for the first time. Because here, for the dependencies parameter, we are passing an empty array. And here, I'm also going to create a new state i'll call it error message and i'll call the state updating function as set error message and to this let's assign use state and initially let's set this error message to null and inside this get all tasks let's go ahead and let's update this error message so i'll copy this set error message here and i will update this error message with this error now, since we are using it here, let's go ahead and let's cut this function from here and let's use it after this use state hook. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and let's open developer console. Let's go to this console tab and let me refresh the page. So here, nothing has been logged in the console, but it should have logged this data. So for some reason, we are not receiving this data for this get all tasks function. Let's go to this use HTTP hook. And there, the reason is here we are sending a get request. And with the get request, we do not need to send any body. And for the body here from this app.js, we have passed null. And we are passing this null value to this json.stringify to convert it to json. So here we are trying to convert a null value to its json format. And that's why we have some problem here. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if this body is a truthy value. That means if this body has some value in that case, 
I want to stringify that body. I want to convert into JSON format. Otherwise, I simply want to set this body with null. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and let me refresh the page. And now you can see a promise has been logged here. And this promise is a pending promise because from here we are returning this data. And to this data, we have assigned response.json. And this response.json returns a promise. And we are trying to log that promise here. But this promise is not resolved yet. Once this promise will be resolved, on that promise, we can use then method to handle the resolved data. Right? So this data is going to return a promise. On that promise, we can call this then method. And this then method will be executed. The callback function of this then method will be executed when that promise is resolved. So now we can move this console.log statement inside this callback function of this then method. And this callback function is also going to receive the actual data. So let's call it maybe tasks. And let's go ahead and let's log this tasks. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now you can see that task object has been logged here. Now here, instead of logging this task in the console, we want to display it in the web page. Let's go back to VS code and let's write the logic for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty array. I'll call it task list. Then I'm going to use a foreign loop. So here let's create a variable. Let's call it key in tasks. Now, what do we want to do for each iteration? For each iteration to this task list array, we want to push a new element for that we can use this push method and this element is going to be an object for this object we want to have this id property which we want to set with this key value and we also want to have a value property which we want to set with the value of that key okay so this should be tasks so here this id property will be assigned with this value and the value property will be assigned with the actual task detail. So basically this string value. And finally, instead of logging it, let's go ahead and let's update this all tasks state using this set all tasks state updating function with this task list variable. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now we should see all the tasks which we have in the database. So currently we have only one task and that task is rendered here in the web page. And from within this app component, let's go ahead and let's delete this fetch task function. And since we have deleted that fetch task function, let's also comment it here. And let's also comment it here. So using this use HTTP hook, we are able to send an HTTP request to the server. We are able to get all the tasks from the database and we are able to display it in the web page. Now let's see how we can use this use HTTP hook to send a post request. So for that, let's go ahead and let's use this use HTTP one more time. And here this time we want to send a post request. So again, I will copy this URL and let's pass it here. For the method, let's specify the method as post. Then we also need to send a body. For the body, let's use this taskref.current.value. Okay, and we also need to specify the function which we want to execute when we have the response. So for that, let's simply pass this create task function. Okay, and in that case, this create task is going to receive the data, the response. So let's simply call it data. Now this use HTTP is going to return an array. That array is going to have the error message. Let's call it error message or let's call it error post because here we are sending a post request and let's call this one error get and let's use this error get here. Okay. And with this error post, we are also going to receive this function this send HTTP request function so here let's call it maybe send post request okay here let's call it send get
get request just to make some difference and here we need to call send get request now we want to call this send post request function from within this create task function so let's specify it here so this send post request function will send a post request to the server to create a new task and once that task is created in the database we also want to fetch that task automatically after the task is created so for that let's also call this send get request function now if i save the changes and if i go to the web page you will see that nothing is appearing in the web page let's open developer console to check if we have any error and here you will see that we have an error and the error says cannot read property of undefined so it is trying to read this value property on undefined and it is this error is at line number 14 in fjs so if i go to fjs at line number 14 so here here we are trying to read this value property on this current object so for some reason this taskref.current it is returning undefined and that's because when this line of code will be executed inside this app component function by that time this input element is not yet created okay so this input element is not yet created that's why we have this taskref.current as undefined and also even if this current had some value on that when we use this value property initially it will be empty string so when we are calling this use http here to this use http we are passing the body as empty string and we do not want that we want to pass the value which the user has entered in the input element as the body for this post request we don't want to send an empty string so this is not the right place to pass the body of the request so here we need to modify this use http hook a bit so that it can also handle the post and the delete request let's see how we can do that in our next lecture